What's up everyone? Today we're gonna go over elite code 112 has path sum. Now the input is gonna be a tree like that and, the, and then they're gonna give us another integer which is the value of the sum and they want to know if boolean true or false if there exists a path between the root down to the leaf and it has to go from the top to a leaf and we're gonna take advantage of that and the solution I'm gonna tell you. Now um, we solve this recursively and the trick is that we have to pass a temporary variable which is going to be shared recursively and then when the, one of the leaves, either 7, 2, 13, or 1, gets, gets hold of the recursive stack, it, it's going to check if the value that it has, the temporary value that has accumulated is going to be equal to the sum. So let's get into it. And then I'm going to draw the recursive the recursive values, and then I'm going to show you how the booleans actually bubble up to the top to return true or false. <clears throat> so first we do DFS root, and then sum, and then zero, and then this we're going to return this. Now this is going to be boolean. This is a helper function boolean DFS node root int of sum and int of value. So when we call DFS for the first time, we're calling it um, on 22. When we call it on 5, we're going to pass 22 and 0 to it. So always with these recursive things is if the root is null, we should return. And if our return type is a Boolean in this case, so we return false. Now, the next thing we have to check is, is if we have, if we're visiting a leaf. So if the root left is null and the root right is null, then we're going to return the originals, we're going to check if the sum, the original sum that was there in the input, and the value that has been recursively passed is going to equal, are going to equal each other if we add the roots value, which is the final part. And I'll show you what this looks like on the diagram in a second. The next thing we have to do is return, it, return the DFS called on the left node and the right node. So that's going to look like DFS a root dot left sum and root dot val plus the val that has been temporarily passed in or because this they want just one path down we have to see if either the left side or the right side completes our boolean true so if that, that's the left side and then we have the right side sum and then root dot val plus val that's passed in. Now, let me show you what that looks like on the tree. When we first pass this in, when we ask five, five is going to say, hold on, guys, let me ask my left and right child. So five is not null, and its left and right children are not null, meaning it's not a leaf. The only leaves, the only, the only nodes which check for this left and right null condition are the leaves, which are 7, 2, 13, 1. Now, it's going to go to the left side, and it's going to pass its value. So 22 comma 0. 22 is the sum that's input, and 0 is the 0 we gave. So 22 and 5, and 22, uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be 22 and 5 at this point. Yeah. 22, 5 at this point, 22, and 9 at this point. The reason it's going to be 5 here is because we're going to do value, which is a 0 plus the root plus val, which is 5. So when it goes here, it's going to be 22, 9, and then here it's going to be 22, 13. Here it's going to be 22, 20. Um, here it's going to be 22, uh, 22, 27. And then here it's going to be 22, 22. Here it's going to be 22, 26. Here it's going to be 22, 17. And here it's going to be 22, 18. So, and that's how the recursive stacks are passed around with the temporary variable. Now, when we get to these leaf nodes, what they're going to say is 
check if the sum is equal to this one. So 22 is not equal to 18. So this is going to return false. And 4's left node is going to return false. So false and false, it bubbles up to false. 4 is going to return false. 13 is going to return false because neither of its, because it's, it's uh, 22 is not equal to 26. False and false get returned by, by to 8. And then 8 is going to return false from its end to 5. But here, 2 is going to tell its parent 11, hey, look, 22 is equal to 20, so 2, this is true. This side is going to come up as false. True and a false, when we or it, this is going to be a true. True and a false on this side, because it's null, is going to get ORed to a true. And then true and false ORed is going to return us true. And that's how this recursive stack bubbles up the Boolean values to the top. If you like the video, please subscribe and like it. And let me know in the comments below how I can improve. And thanks for watching. Uh, see ya. <coughs>